That's so sick. It, that, that, that's actually going to make the Korean ladder so competitive. We have a goddamn 160. They have 1.5 thousand master tier players. That's fucking insane. How much does NA have? I'm probably going to guess 5, 600. NA is not very competitive ladder. TBH. They have 300. Wait, that's actually so sad. They have they only have 360 in NA. Wait, NA only... Dude, we have 160. They're only twice the slot, twice the, the competitiveness. You see Nunu mid making the rounds? Yeah, man, it's very strong. Play not gen mid, free low. Not wrong. I like to see their picks first. I don't really like to blind it. This guy takes away Lissandra, maybe. Good thing about blind pick not gen is the mid lane might think you're a jungle. Correct. This guy has complete control and counter pick about our about jungle. They probably think it's not. They probably think Liss mid at the moment. They go Cassio. Perfect. Nocturne counters Cassio hella hard. In the US, there's a hundred, there's a thousand master tier players. Wow. 1,500. Like that actually, that's actually a very good indicator of like, like high elo queue times and how many, like how many people take the, like actually grind out games and like the competitiveness of the games. So OS 160, NA 350, Korea 1,500, EU 1,000. That's actually that, and then that makes perfect sense. One thing surprises me: EU Nordic has 700. That server might be okay. The problem with EU Nordic is that all the talented players just end up playing EU. The most of like the most of the really good players are just playing EU. But I wonder if there's any, if there's actually some good players that are left on EU that don't bother playing EU West. That Xyra guy who ranked one in EU Nordic, I th he was always like low masters on EU West. He played last season and he was duoing with like 90% win rates up until Diamond 1 and then just hit a wall and, and struggled against the mid laners because they actually brought pressure to the lane. That's how it works, man. Diamond 1 and above and you gotta, you just, you can't lane like how he laned against EU Nordic players but he just got free farm lane. I don't know. I feel like if you're low, if you're low ping on NA server it's, and you know how to climb and know who to dodge, it's probably pretty easy because you can just dodge. Like, you, there's teams on NA where you get like five pro players versus five fucking streamers or one tricks, and it's just like, it's, the pro players just dominate though. It's a joke. I played. Imagine level six all in on Cassio, bro. I just ult in, get my E off, spell shield the ultimate, and boom! Bob's your uncle, she's dead. I sense fear. <laughs> I do it? <laughs> My motherfucking dog, good shit. I thought for a second he had griefed me, but then I realized he's kicking her under so no one has to take any tower. It's literally just a better TF. It's a TF with early lane kill pressure. Oh my god, this guy's gonna live as well. Come on, black lever. Please don't do that, dickhead. Hey, hey, what did I just say, man? Log is smurfing on Lee Sin. Is Nocturne mid that good? Do you know what? When I first started playing it, I thought, no, it's not very good. But the more I play it and the more I understand their matchups, the easier it is to like, not into my laning phase. And as long as you don't grief like your first couple of levels, it's you're fine. It's so fucking strong. You can just outpace everybody. It's not S tier, but I think it's definitely like viable, really viable to just fucking climb hella hard with. Wait, I win this. Oh. Called Lethal Tempo. What does Lethal Tempo do? 1.5 seconds after attacking, you get 110 attack speed for three for three seconds. Attacking a champion extends effect for six seconds. Holy fuck a moly. I ran him. 
Oh, it's worth sending a message, to be honest. You reckon Hail of Blades would be good on Nocturne mid? Ooh, um, fuck. So the reason Nocturne mid is strong is because when I, so I get 40% CDR, and when I get Essence Reaver right, if you read Essence Reaver's fucking thing, basic attacks refund 20% of your non-ultimate cooldowns. So like just some, like, so you get lethal tempo, and then you have like max attack speed. Oh my god. And then you literally just get all of you get you get your E up or your shit up. But maybe yeah, dude, maybe Halo Blades is good as well. Yeah, you guys reckon Halo Blades is better than Lethal Tempo? If like Lethal Tempo lasts six seconds of autos, you get like 20 autos. No, fucking no way. It can't be. Because my all-in, I'm getting like I'm attacking them for like 10 second period, bro. And I get lethal tempo for six seconds. So I can get my E, my E and my Q, I get like two or three of them in an all-in. But they're feared for like seven seconds. Imagine being- that's- it's so obnoxious because you you just feared, you're perma-feared. Can't move. If I'm ordering you, you're perma-feared. <laughs> Holy shit! Did I even order him? This shit's not even on cooldown. Nocturne one trick checking in. Best champ to hard carry shitters out of low elo. Nocturne mid. Dead serious. Lower well, elos this champ's so fucking good. Uh, it's only bad thing is is what it's like in high elos. Fuck, man, that's so unfortunate. Hey, mid beast, my goal for this season is D2. The champs I'm planning on using are Vlad, Fizz, Jace, Liss, Talon. Why does he cast me? Yes, boys, lads, they are boys, lads. What are we? What are we? What are we thinking about the Nocturne mid? By the way, boys, seems like a less useless twist of fate. Fuck. Why does Gromp do so much damage? That is fucked. What? I have 76 armor and it just devours me, man. Wait, it has 175 AD? Are you fucking kidding? It does magic damage. Wait, Gromp does magic damage this whole time? Oh my bad, I'm not a jungler. You know what's sickening? I Iron players know Gromp does a like magic damage and they think like that that type of information really does matter. It truly doesn't. It maybe would have saved me in that one scenario, which has only once ever happened. <laughs> Fucking drive by. Oh. 